Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. Mr. Goins. LeBron, you said after game one, you, you were anticipating some some differences in Golden State in game two. Uh, what did you find to be the, the most effective, whether Steph having the ball more or the way that they defended AD? What, what stood out to you? Um, they made the adjustments, and, um, you know, we knew they were going to do that. Um, that's what a championship team does, and, uh, you know, they they held serve on their home court tonight, and we got to um, obviously see the adjustments they make. We got to make our adjustments and coming into game three. And AD, just same question for you. Uh, Draymond started on you last game. Obviously, it was Looney. Uh, they played a little different on the other end as well with the spread, uh, the spread offense. Uh, how did that impact you? Did you feel like? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I took all the same shots I took in game one. Uh, you know, just missed them. Um, elbow jumpers, uh, pocket passes to, to the floater, same exact looks. Uh, didn't shoot no shot that I didn't shoot in game one. Uh, just missed them. Um, that's all. Uh, like Bron said, they made adjustments. Um, shot the ball extremely well from three. Um, so uh, we'll be better. Um, I'll be better. Uh, you know, making those shots. Um, you know, get back home on our home floor, on our home floor, and uh, try to take care of business. Uh, this question is for either of you, but where did you feel like the game kind of slipped away tonight? Was it the third quarter when they, you know, made eight threes and, and dropped forty plus, or, or was it kind of right before halftime? Or, or what did you see with that? Yeah, I mean, going to half, um, you know, up eleven, you know, went on the run, and then obviously the third quarter, uh, we know they're a big third quarter team. Came out um, on fire, had forty three in the third, um, and also forty one in the second. So. Uh, it's not like us um, on the defensive end to give up those um, type of quarters. Uh, so we got to be better uh, defensively. But um, I think, you know, going to halftime, you know, when they made that run, it's kind of, you know, where it kind of, uh, you know, got away from us. LeBron, you've seen them go on crazy runs in games um, and all your battles with them. What's sort of the key to, to – to not letting those um, build and stack, and, and how do you kind of have to combat that? Uh, you got to keep scoring, uh, get to the free throw line um, as well, or just get uh, points in the paint. Uh, you know they're going to go on runs. That's what they do. Um, you know, but you got to keep scoring, uh, try to hold the fort down. Obviously, um, you know, but you give uh, credit where credit is due. They played exceptionally well tonight, and we didn't. And uh, the series is tied one-one, so uh, that's where we're at. LeBron, you guys have been one of the best defensive team in the league over the last month plus. Uh, but the teams you played in the league, you know, the Warriors are pretty unique in the way they play uh, compared to the rest of the league, you know, with their personnel and continuity and all that. So um, what do you think it will, it will take to make your defense shine as much as it has against this specific team? I mean, we still are. That doesn't change. We're still the best defensive team in the league, if not one of them. Um, so that doesn't change, and that's what we hang our hats on. Um, but like I said, you give credit where credit is due. Clay uh, was spectacular tonight. Uh, and Draymond was great in the pocket pass with the rolls and things of that nature. Um, you know, so uh, Jermichael gave him big time minutes. Those, you know, those 12 minutes felt like uh, you know 24 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, he was big time for their for their team in the starting role tonight too. So um, you give credit, like I said, where credit is due, and we move on to the next game. But our defense is where we. That's where we hang our hat, and uh, you know, and that, that doesn't stop no matter who we're playing against. How did you? How do you guys feel? Obviously, neither of you played in the fourth quarter. Did you come out of this thing all right? And did you feel that you contested their three pointers enough in this game? Obviously, they're a great shooting team, but they, they made a lot of threes. We feel great, and we we did, yes, we contested threes. Eddie, when they, when they go small, obviously it stretches um, the defense and, and you know gets shooters to the corners. But um, w does that change the way they were able to defend you guys too with their movement? And, and, and even though they were smaller, were they more? Did you feel like they were more active in passing lanes and things like that? Yeah, I think they're a little bit <clears throat> more active in the uh, in the pocket. Uh, you know, they kind of clog the paint. You know, in all pocket passes uh, that were pretty open game one and. Um, you know, it didn't help that we didn't really shoot the ball well from three. Um, 
you know, so we start, you know, making those shots, making those threes, uh, be tough for them to pull in and kind of take away those pocket passes and uh, us playing in the paint. So um, that's all I think it was. You know, they, they made an emphasis on making sure that we try to, they try to, you know, find the guys on the perimeter, um, you know, on the three-point line and clog the paint up a little bit. Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it, Bobby. We on the top. Woo, woo. We on the top. Woo, woo. We on the top.